Hello and welcome to another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip. Uh, today we've got a, an interesting one, uh, one that I've been playing around with, uh, and that is one of the new uh, neural filters that's uh, built into Photoshop. And uh, so I'm going to take you along here for a little experiment. Uh, so here's a typical photo, wildlife, uh, and like all wildlife, you can never get too close. And your lens is never long enough, right? So here's a, a shot here. And I wish I had been a little bit closer, a little bit longer on the lens to get the shot that I actually wanted. And so using a Photoshop's Nero filters, I'm going to see if I can fix that. Because cropping, as we know, just removes pixels, right? We lose the resolution of the, the image. So we don't want to do that. So let's let's try these new neural filters and see if we can get anything out of it. All right, so we're going to go up to uh, filter, and then we're going to go to neural filters, and then the panel will open up, and you're going to look under photography section, and you're going to look for super zoom. Okay, now this is going to let you put in <coughs> and zoom in like you had a longer lens without losing the resolution of the photo. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And uh, I should forewarn you, this is incredibly slow processing. Okay? I'm not talking seconds. I'm talking minutes. Okay? So I have a very fast computer, and it still takes forever to do things. All right, so the interface is very simple. You have your picture here, and then you have the... Uh, how much you want to zoom in one times, three times, and so forth. Enhance the details, remove any JPEG artifacts. Uh, if you get any noise, you want to put some noise reduction in and maybe some additional sharpening. So it's very straightforward to what you do. So what you do is just hit the plus sign and that will zoom it in. And you see just two times. And I can drag the image how I want it. And, uh, Okay, and so let's just see, I just want that, and I want to reduce a little bit of noise, and I want to introduce some sharpening. And now you look down at the bottom here, and it's going to tell me it's going to process the image, uh, and it's estimating right now 30 seconds. Uh, I've seen some of these uh, go for minutes, uh, literally uh, come back with five, six minutes to process the image. But we got to let it run through its course. And uh, this one isn't too bad, so I may just let it run. and Or I may cut it out so that you don't have to be bored watching it do the processing. Okay, we're almost done. All right, so we have that. Then we just simply turn around and hit OK. And the image is now processed. So if we turn around and we take a look at the before and the after, uh, it's not bad results. So give and take is not bad. Like I said, the only biggest complaint I have with the tool is that it is incredibly slow in processing. Um, and uh, maybe that's something that Adobe can work on in the future. But it's a handful tool when you need it. So... The results are not bad, okay? The results are not bad at all. Uh, I mean, it's not something, anything to write home about, but if you need a little extra reach on your photo to get the crop that you want or the composition, it sure does be cropping it out. All right, guys, till next week, you guys take care.